Hey guys, welcome to this new video. Today, let's take a look at the so-called secure ring. It's a touch be ring, a prayer reminder and such. And it is used to remind you to pray a certain amount or at a certain time to Allah or something. Uh, I'm not so much into it, but I'm very much into the technique behind all of this. And this ring is from AliExpress and costs around 10 euros. But the nice thing is it has Bluetooth and it also has a OLED screen you can see yeah, right here in the middle. And yeah, of course, the push button and the vibration motor. And overall, it's just teeny tiny. And yeah, let's take a look at it. So after figuring everything out about the hardware inside and how it works, I was able to use this nicely made app to upload something custom to it. And voila. You now have a hacked reminder ring. For a few weeks now, AliExpress did uh, flush this ring into my yeah, recommendation list. And after all, I um, then just bought the yeah, cheapest version. This is the Zika Ring Lite, as it is called. There is a pro version where the ring is inserted in such a like an Apple AirPod charger and overall this is what you will get and inside of it is then let's open it fully up the ring and a small charger at least in this yeah light version and yeah this is overall the size and such after getting it I tore it out tore down one and came to this small PCB, including the yeah, OLED screen. And you can see a bit of usage here. They have some nicely labeled UART pins, like an RXD and a TXD on the back side. And googling for the chip, with, which is the so-called FR8016HA. There was a nice place to find the... SDK for it, which is pretty nice to find. And here you can see already that it has the uh, Cortex M3, so it's even nicer to re reverse when you got the firmware. The size of the display and PCB really re reminds me of this Lego brick, which does include a display. So it's like the same thing, but with a ring. And I think the guy even did a ring at one point, if I remember correctly. So playing a bit around with it and the original app, I was able to get the stock firmware. And Ida is very pro, um, very fine with it. And I was able to yeah, reverse engineer quite a lot of it. So while of course such a rig roll has no real usage, it shows that we can perfectly fine run a custom firmware on this device and even flash it over the air. And yeah, in the end you could have a smartwatch like device where you could yeah do a menu even inside of a custom firmware and more Bluetooth action like triggering something else in such a form factor for a small price. Overall, the chip is quite powerful in the end even. So you have half a megabyte of flash and the Bluetooth overall. It even can do a speaker and a microphone, which is also impressive. And has uh, even the charger included. Um, so it's a nice microcontroller in the end. Um, if there ever is a more useful device or just the chip alone for a good price, it could be made quite into such a good project. 
overall. And that's it already for this Zikir Smart Reminder Ring. And yeah, I hope you liked this little tour. While it was very short and not so deep diving, it just shows a little bit about the hardware. And that if you got some interest in it, you could get one yourself.